I'm Dr. David Wolfson. Here's more information about air quality and asthma from asthma specialist Allison Larkin. Some days I worry about how the indoor and outdoor environment affects my child's asthma. This is an excellent observation. Air quality both inside and outside can affect your child's asthma. And this can range anywhere from environmental exposure to tobacco exposure to things like car exhaust. Exposure to the elevated levels of air pollution is linked with numerous adverse effects on human health. Fifteen-year-old Chris is having a severe asthma attack. How air pollution increases the risk of Parkinson's. In this video we will understand what research studies are saying about the relation between air pollution and Parkinson's disease. You know, complications with air pollution kills 80,000 people each year. Center, we are looking into the connection between bad air and a bad heart. Good for you. We've all seen it. Cloudy gray muck hanging over the Wasatch Front. It's an immediate effect. One bad air day puts you at the risk. It's not like if you had a whole month long of bad airs, then you finally start to have an effect. Any single bad air day increases the risk at that time. Dave. Dave, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm going to die. I can't go on trying to breathe. I'm so tired. The coronavirus is a respiratory disease. It attacks the lungs and other organs in its attempt to infect its host. But it has another strategy, air pollution. Scientists believe it uses fine particulate matter as a carrier. Studies show the pollution also lays the groundwork for the virus, aggravating the throat and lungs to make us more susceptible to COVID. A toxic and potentially deadly partnership, air pollution and COVID-19. PM10 are 10 micrometers or smaller. Fine, inhalable particles have diameters of 2.5 micrometers or less, and then there are ultra-fine particles, less than 0.1 micrometers in diameter. Depending on their size and how deeply they penetrate tissue, inhaled particles have different effects on health. 
We believe that the smaller the particulate matter is, the greater the probability is that it will reach the bloodstream after inhalation and be taken up by the cardiovascular system. These tiny particles can build up in arteries and damage their insides, and that's where the SARS-CoV-2 virus also causes much of its most serious damage. But it's only when you step into the ICU environment and you realize how many people are dying from this disease and are in critical condition fighting for their lives when this becomes real, and it's so important for me to show that to you. On Monday, I started my day at 6.30 in the morning. At 10.30, we were on this floor when the cardiac arrest code blue call came overhead. CPR, chest compressions, was underway when we got there. We had to stand outside the room, get our personal protective equipment on while watching the CPR in place. We went into the room, we resuscitated the patient. He was not, his heart was not beating for about five minutes before we were able to get him back.